Okay, so Minecraft released an update 1.12.2 recently, and maybe you're finding yourself you can't access uh, a server you've been previously able to access because of the new update. Um, or maybe you're hosting a server and you want to update your server. I'm going to take you through a couple steps. One is if you're trying to connect to an outdated server, and the other one is how to update an outdated server um, from both ends. So, so on the first thing is you're on the, the new version of of Minecraft and you go and you click play and it says failed to connect to the server outdated server I'm still on you know whatever version the server is 1.12.1 as you can see I'm running 1.12.2 it's not gonna work so what you need to do in this case if you're trying to connect to an outdated server is just quit the game and you're gonna go ahead and reopen it whether it be on a Windows computer or a Mac or whatever you're running um, you'll reopen My Minecraft you can go over here to launch options and you click Add New, and you're going to select the version server that it was. In that case, it was 1.12.1 is the version of the server. If you look, the latest release is 1.12.2, but the server itself is 1.12.1. .1. So you go there, add that to your launch options, then go to New, then click here, and you can select the version you want to run. So 1.12.1 .1 is what that server was, and this will allow us to connect to that server. And then uh, I'll show you that that works, and then I'm going to show you how, if you're hosting a server, how to update it so everybody can be on the latest version of Minecraft and connect to your server. So as you can see now, it's opening up Minecraft 1.12.1. .1. And then we click on uh, the server, the same server we couldn't connect to, and it's going to log right in and uh, connect to the server. It's a little slow on my computer at first, but there you go. Um, so that's how you connect to an outdated server. And then if you're hosting a server, in this case I'm hosting this server here, and you want to update it to the latest version of Minecraft so that everybody can use the latest version to connect to your server, and you don't want to lose anything, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first thing you got to do is go ahead and close out the server, and then you're going to open up a web browser, and uh, you're going to go to Minecraft.net. And you don't need to log in or anything, you can just click Menu over here, Trial and Download, Go to set up your own Minecraft server, even though you already have one, and you're going to click here, and you're going to download the Minecraft server 1.12.2, or if there's a newer version by now, then you can select that as well. So whatever the latest server is, you're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to start downloading. I always recommend that whenever you're doing that, you go ahead and update your Java. So if you just go to Google and type in Java, that'll come up, and it'll have Java here, or download free Java software, that's the one you want. Um, it should come right here, but if not, you can click download if, if it comes up with an error message, you can agree and download that as well. As it downloads both Java and Minecraft, it's going to tell you that these could be harmful if you're running a Windows computer. You'll go ahead and keep them. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is open up the Java and run it, the installation on that. So while you're running the installation on the Java, you can do a couple other things. You're going to locate your server folder wherever you have it saved on your computer, and then uh, and here's my server, and so this is all the information that I have for my server. And then you're going to create another folder I recommend on your desktop somewhere. And you're just going to call this server backup, or whatever you want to call it. And this is where we're going to temporarily throw some files. So in your server folder, there's a couple files that you're going to need. One is your world, so you'll go ahead and drag and drop that to the server backup. The band persons, IPS folder, band players, you need that one. Even if you don't have any band players, you want to go ahead and drag that one. Um, the ops, OPS one, sorry about the way this is, it's just hard for me to click and drag. And then uh, server properties, come on, and that's all you need. Um, the rest of these files inside your server folder can go ahead and be deleted. In this case I'm just going to drag and drop them to the recycle bin. You don't want to change your server folder so you just want to leave it the same folder as it is, just delete everything in it and have those files that we just selected and dropped into the backup, the rest can go to your recycle bin. Alright, so now we're going to go back to our Java download. Yours may have said it completed, it may come back and say that it wants to restore some Java security things, you can click yes on that or no if you want. Um, it also may have come up and said do you want to set Yahoo as your, your uh, home page you know, or default browser, you don't have to do any of that, you can click no. Um, mine didn't come up with those questions, so we're all set. So the Java installation is complete. It'll do a pop-up window to verify it. You don't need to do that. You can just go ahead and close that out. Um, and then you're going to locate your Minecraft uh, or your yeah Minecraft server that you downloaded. Um, you can just go to your uh, your computer here and find your downloads folder. And then in your downloads folder, you should have your Java and Minecraft server. Don't double-click the Minecraft server. What you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop it over here into the server folder where the server previously was located. 
If you double clicked it, that's okay. You can just delete everything in your downloads, re-download it, and drag and drop it before you open it. And then when you go ahead and open it, once you get it into the correct folder that it was in previously, it's going to come up with these different things. You're going to open up the EULA text, and you're going to change where it says EULA from false to true. Um, I always do a capital. I don't know if it matters. And you're going to save that. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and open up this, and it's going to open up your server. Um, if you have multiple server running, it's going to close out again immediately. All right, so if yours open and closed just like mine did, you'll just double click the EULA, and make sure that it says true, and make sure that you save it. And in my case, it already said true. In my case, I'm running multiple servers, so I got to go to server properties here, and I have to change the port number to something that's not being used. In my case, it's going to be 25568. That's what this server is going to be on mine. Um, but you just need to, if you're running multiple servers, or if you've already tried this, or you have something else going on, um, the default is 65, usually 25565. Um, and if there's more than one of those out there, it won't start. So um, for everybody else, it should have just opened up this box here for the uh, the server itself. So once you're at this point, your server's up and running, and now it's time to, to bring over your old stuff into the new server. So let's go ahead and close this out. You're going to go to that folder that you created, that server backup, and you're going to drag and drop all of these over here into your new server. You don't want to copy and paste, you want to drag and drop. When you do this, it's going to come up and say some of them have the same name. And you're just going to say replace files, replace the files in the destination. Um, it's going to go through and do all that. And we'll just give it a minute here. Once it's done that, there's one more thing we need to do. We're going to go back to where we downloaded the server, and it's got this information right here. You want to go ahead and copy this. Go back to your server folder, and you're going to right-click, and you're going to click uh, New and we're looking for a text document and we're going to call it start.bat and when you do that it's going to come up and say it might become unusable or you should want to change it yes and it should change to a start.bat with the gears here and it's called a windows batch file if yours was unable to do that wait till the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that as well but um, everybody should be right here, and again, if yours wasn't, wait till the end of the video, and I'll show you how to fix this so that you can create a .bat file. You're going to edit the .bat file, and you're going to paste that information that you got off the Java or off the Minecraft website right there, that information right there. Once you paste that in there, you're going to click File, Save, and then you want to make sure this Minecraft underscore server jar is the same file name as this. It should be. However, if you did multiple downloads, you may have parentheses 1, 2, or 3 in there, um, and you'll want to go ahead and either change this to, to match that, or you can rename the server to match that. So once you do this, you're going to save it. We didn't already do that. Close it out, and double-click it, and it should open up. Um, once your server is open, then uh, it should work on the latest version of uh, Minecraft. So anybody running the latest version should be able to connect to your server. You're all set. It's all updated. It's going to work. Um, and then for the people that couldn't update the start.bat file, that's a pretty easy solution. Um, you're just going to go to your control panel, open that up. You're going to change from category view, you want a large icon or a small icon, and you want to find file explorer options, you're going to click on that. And then on file explorer options, you're going to click view, and this hide extensions for known file types, that needs to be unchecked. So you go ahead and uncheck that, click OK close that out and then you'll be able to make that a, a start.bat file and it'll actually show the gears and that's what you need it to be. Um, and I hope that I answered everybody's questions. If anybody has any problems you can just put in the comments. I'll make another video to uh, update you and, and let you know what may be the issue. So now if you want to stick around I'll go ahead and double check it and make sure it works. I'm going to open up my Minecraft. I'm going to run the latest version of Minecraft and see if it connects to that same server. So 1.12.2 latest release. Click play here. Give it a few seconds. In case you're wondering, I'm running my Minecraft on a Mac and the server is being hosted on a Windows computer. Um, I can't run the Minecraft on the Windows computer and do uh, record the uh, screen, so that's why I'm running it on the Mac. And as you can see, I'm now running the 1.12.2 and I was able to log into the server. So now anybody running the older version will not be able to run, log into this server. So there we go. And that's how you do that. Please click like if this video helped. Please uh, comment or subscribe. That helps as well. And uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.